Please enter your name by clicking this button and using the on-screen Good morning. Welcome to My Personal Golf Trainer with IMG Academies and David Ledbetter. Your grip and posture are key to making a full, consistent golf swing. So let's begin by covering these with some basic drills. Well, let's discuss preparation. Preparation is so important if you're going to make a good, consistent swing. If you're going to build a solid house, you have to have a solid foundation. And so it is with the golf swing. I see most people's problems happen at a dress. In other words, if we can get them set up to the ball correctly, it allows them to make a good swing. If you have a poor address position, which consists of your grip, your posture, your alignment, and your ball position, if those things are out, you're very unlikely to make a good swing. And the reason is that the swing consists of balance. Remember, we're facing a stationary ball. We have to make the movement really from a very stationary position at address. Now, if we're out of balance, we're out of position, we're gonna to have to make compensations. And the more compensations you make, the more inconsistent you're gonna be. Just, just as simple as that. Now, what does a preparation consist of? Well, there's really four key areas. One is your grip, how you position your hands on the club. Because remember, your hands really control ultimately where the club face is when you make contact with the ball. So if we have a poor grip, it doesn't allow us to A, get the club face square, but B, it also doesn't allow the power to work itself through the arms and hands down into the club head. So we've got to get our hands positioned properly on the club. That's all important. The second thing we've got to do, we've got to get our posture right. The way we angle our body really determines how the body moves during the swing. You know, we've got a big arc to swing the club through. And also, we've got to create a lot of power. Now, if our body's out of position or out of balance, it's very tough to make this repetitive swing. We've got to coil, we've got to wind. In actual fact, these angles that we create for ourselves at address are ones that we have to try to maintain all through the swing, certainly up to impact. If our angles are changing, the club is moving out of position. If the club moves out of position, we've now got to compensate once again. So we're trying to eliminate compensations. The third aspect really to preparation is really talking about alignment. The way we aim. First of all, the club face, getting the club aimed at our target. And secondly, our body. That consists of our toe line, knee line, hip line, shoulder line and also eye line. Getting these all parallel to our target line is absolutely vital if we're going to hit the ball to our target. Once again, if I'm aiming incorrectly, I've got to make compensations in order to get that club face square at impact. And everything we're doing is to get the club face square at impact, traveling at maximum speed down our target line. Now, the final aspect of preparation really is the ball position where we position the ball in our stance. If we position it back on one swing and then forward on another, obviously we're not gonna hit the ball consistently. And you're gonna see consistency is what we're looking for. Consistency is what everybody's looking for. If we're gonna hit an iron in a consistent manner, we have to put it in such a position that, hey, we hit down on the ball. We're squeezing the ball off the turf. If we're gonna hit a driver consistently, we've gotta put the ball forward in our stance where we can actually sweep the ball off the tee. So all these elements are so important to make a good swing. If we can get this aspect right where we have control over it, remember, we don't have control over the rest of our swing because it's an actual fact in motion, but we have control over our dress position. And if we can get set up to the ball correctly, prepare ourselves to hit the ball, we've got a good chance of making that consistent, repeating swing. Ben Hogan once made the statement that good golf begins with a good grip, and I'm a firm believer of that. The way you position your hands on the club determines the way the club head comes back to the ball. So many golfers have poor grips that they have poor fundamentals in their swing as a result. So very important to get your hands positioned correctly on the club. 
What I see generally with most golfers is that they grip the club way too much up in the palm. As a consequence, they grip it very tight, their tension is wrong, they create a lot of tension up through the arms and the shoulders and it doesn't allow them to swing the club smoothly. Furthermore, if you have the club up in the palm, as many golfers do, I would say probably around the world, maybe 75 to 80% of golfers have this problem, it doesn't allow them to really use their wrist correctly in the swing. If you want to get good wrist action where you can then transfer the power from your body through your arms and wrists into the club, well, you've got to position your hands correctly. Remember, your hands control where the club face is when you make contact with the ball. So what we see generally with so many golfers, we see what we term a palmy grip, also a very weak grip. In other words, that means the hands are too far around to the left on the club. For those of you that are right-handed, you can picture that. The hands around here, in this fashion here, we, we work them around in a sort of a, a counterclockwise fashion, and that would be termed a weak grip. If we work the hands around this way in a clockwise fashion, to an exaggerated extent, that's termed a strong grip. What we're trying to get for most players is what we term a neutral grip. Okay, getting a neutral position allows the club face to come back squarely to the ball. Now, there are basically three types of grips. The conventional grip is called the Varden grip or the overlap grip, whereby the little finger of the right hand, for right-handers, fits just on top of the knuckle, the index finger of the left hand, that joins those two together. There's the interlocking grip, where the little finger joins in with the index finger to keep the hands working as a unit. And then finally, for some players, a weaker player, a player with not much strength or flexibility, we even suggest what they term the baseball or the double-handed grip. The most important thing is that the hands work together as a unit and are parallel on the club with one another. We don't want one hand here and one hand here or vice versa, one hand here and one hand here. We want to try to get the hands matching. It's a parallel situation we're trying to create, where the left hand, where we see a couple of knuckles on the left hand, the right hand, they sort of match one another, and I'm now in a position where I feel I'm in a nice relaxed position to be able to swing the club. So we've got to get the hands positioned correctly on the club to allow the club head to get squarely back to the ball on contact. Hold the Wii Remote with your left hand. Hold the 1 and 2 buttons with your thumb. Now bring in your right hand. Hold the A button with your right thumb. Hold the B button with your right index finger. You are now holding the Wii Remote correctly. Well done! You've completed this drill. One of the things that we have control over in the swing is our dress position. In other words, that consists of the grip, the posture, the ball position, and the alignment. And one of the most important features of that address position is the posture. The way we position our body at address really, to a large extent, determines how we swing the club. Because, you know, a good golf swing consists of good balance. And when we're swinging the club at a great speed, it's important that we have good balance. So if we're not in good balance at address, we're not likely to be in good balance when we swing the club. So we've really got to set ourselves in a position where we have our feet firmly planted on the ground, a little bit of knee flex, a little angle from the hips. I want to see my back fairly straight here and my neck relax. So I'm in a position where I'm in a very, what I would term, athletic position at address. And this allows me then to sort of turn and hopefully the angles that I've created a dress, I maintain those angles through the swing. If I lose my angles, very difficult to be consistent. Mm -hmm.